you doing? Kick back. On this episode of the Warrior Woodshots, we're going to talk about table saw and table saw safety. Stay tuned. Up YouTube page, the relaunch. Basically, our primary focus is on students, safe use of tools, and even how to do some projects. So, what better tool to start off with than what's considered one of the most dangerous tools in the shop, the table saw? Hey, all tools are dangerous. Okay, so we're here not only to show you how to use these tools, but we're going to show you some tips, some techniques, possibly even some projects on how to use them as well. If you recognize the table saw, you might know what's going to come next. We have a technologically advanced table saw, what, in the last 10 years? This one, maybe 15 years of saw? 15, yeah. So would you tell them about what's different about this saw than maybe Joe Schmoe's at home? So basically what you got here is there's some electronics below the saw here itself. And what it does is it runs an electrical signal through to the blade. So any time that your skin or something of that, Condu of that yeah, conducts it, touches it, it interrupts that signal and basically it tells the computer that hey something's wrong here and then it just shoots that thing up from the bottom the cartridge grabs the blade in a split second and stops it dead yeah it takes about a quarter of a second to stop the blade now the only problem with this is nails staples water is all conductive so we've got to be careful we should check our boards anyways but, part of the safety training. Okay. Do we have any volunteers? Come on up here. I'll do it. Why don't you let her? Okay. If you watch, go ahead and put your, just touch the side of the blade and watch over here. You see this red light going on? Look over here. See that? Mm -hmm. It didn't turn on. No. No. Now release it. So the red light stops. Yes. Now watch. Okay. You think I'm crazy? I've been called worse. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you got the hot dog? I thought you were bringing it. I think, let, let's actually show them how this thing works. I do have confidence in this blade configuration because uh, it's hard to admit that, what, three years ago I was in a hurry, didn't put the guard down, and I come across the blade like this. It literally felt like that. Didn't even require a band-aid. Now, they say you may need more than a band-aid. What have you heard about it? You know, there's, it's depending on how fast you go into it, you could end up with stitches, but what's not going to happen? That's sure better. Stitches are way better than amputation. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Just to de we can't let our audience down. We, we promised them a, a demo. They're online. They're live with us. I say go for it. Let's go for it. Don't blink. I'm going to use my left hand just in case. <laughs> Don't blink. We have shown, I, I wish we had a reaction to them right now. I really wish we had a camera turn the other direction. She's going to pee her pants. <laughs> now, that blade is shoved up in here, and I'm hoping our GoPro took care of that. No we, we've got a GoPro inside the camera. That'll be cool to see from the, this. There's actually no gap in here when this cartridge is brand new. So it rams it up. It's basically like an airbag. So, do you drive your car any different if it has airbags? No. That's what we want to get across to the kids. You don't use a table saw any different just because it's a saw stop. That's saw stop, guys. That's all we can say. 
We do have other videos on more in depth on how to use the table saw from start to finish. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell thingy, turn into one of our other videos. Thanks for watching. Go out and make some sawdust.